Hi everyone, welcome back to Lavender. Today is the fourth video in our Back to Basics series and I just want to share a little reminder today that you are enough. You are enough as you are. You don't even need to try. You don't need to do anything else. You don't need to change yourself. You don't need to do more. You are enough. You are good enough as you are. You are beautiful as you are and you are whole. So yes, we are human. Everyone has weaknesses and flaws, but you can still be enough even when you have those weaknesses and flaws. You are still whole no matter what because I'm referring to your soul. Your soul is perfect, your soul is beautiful. There's nothing wrong with you. You are not lacking in any area. You are whole and you are enough. So this is like an affirmation. You can write it down. You can write down, I am enough and meditate on that statement. Repeat it to yourself every day because it's such a foundational way of thinking that can set the stage to live a full and beautiful life. And the reason is because you have to believe and know that you are whole in order to feel at peace and feel happier in life. And I know it might sound a little like lofty to some people, but maybe another way to say it is your self-worth or your self-confidence or your self-love. But it's not the exact same as self-love, but it's, it's related. But I just want you guys to ingrain this idea in your head, I am enough. I don't need to do more. I don't need to try and do this. I don't need to change myself. I am enough and I am beautiful and perfect as I am. Once you can truly believe this and really ingrain it in your mindset, then you'll feel that your confidence grows and you'll really feel strong and solid in your self-worth. You know that even if you make mistakes in life or bad things happen to you, you fail, you still know your worth and you still feel like you are enough and you can do anything. You can take the next step and you can still move forward, enjoy your life, live a beautiful, happy, full life. So there are a few strategies that you can use to remind yourself of your self-worth and also cultivate a strong self-love, which I've mentioned in previous videos. I'll link my self-love videos below for you to dig deeper. But one that I wanna share today is related to that comparison trap. So you know how Sometimes on social media, we'll see other people's lives and either you really admire this person or you feel a little envious because you're like, oh man, I don't feel like I'm as good as this person or I'm as blank as this person, whether it's I'm as pretty, I'm as smart, I'm as whatever, anything. So I know that that's something that a lot of us can fall into, but let me try to like flip the script on this thing that we do. So next time you find yourself admiring someone else or are feeling envious of someone else, ask yourself what exactly is the quality that you like or admire or are envious in that person. So why does this person intrigue you? Why are you attracted to this person? Maybe you're inspired by them. So I find myself inspired by certain people or I kind of like hang on to certain people's Instagram. Like I take more time on it for some reason. I'm like drawn to them, whether I just admire them for some reason, right? So dig deep on the qualities of why you feel yourself attracted to this person. What is it about this person that attracts you? So the interesting thing here is human beings perceive the world in a way that relates back to ourselves. So you might not realize it, but everything that you see in the world is a mirror of yourself. For example, with your music taste, you know, if you like a specific song, it's because you feel connected to that song. You feel like it relates to you in some way. Like you see your own personality in that song and vice versa, even if it's subconscious. So you might notice like calm and nice people like calm and nice music and more adventurous people like more like upbeat type music. And if you're a positive or optimistic person, then you'll see one situation in a positive optimistic light you'll mirror that with your personality versus if you're a negative person or someone who doesn't trust in others, you might see that same situation in a negative light. So everything you perceive is a mirror of who you are. So let's go back to that comparison thing where you're digging into that quality. What are the qualities that make yourself attracted or envious or admiring of this person? 
write those down. Try to pinpoint what those are. And the reality is what you see in others, what you admire in others is what you have within. So instead of letting that comparison trap get you down and make you feel insecure and make you feel like you're not good enough, realize that what you're seeing in those people you admire, in your idols, is that you have those same qualities within you that are asking for you to bring them out. They want to come out, that's why. So for example, like if I'm looking at someone's fashion Instagram and I'm like, dang, I really like this girl's fashion, like I'm really like hooked on it. That is a sign that I have that fashion sense within me and that quality in myself is asking to come out more. It's kind of like it's a sign for you to maybe bring that quality out because you have that within yourself. Otherwise, you why would you be hooked on this person's like account? So I did this exercise with myself about a month ago where I asked myself, why am I specifically attracted to these certain people or why am I especially inspired by these people that I constantly go back to? You know, I'm always browsing their YouTube or Instagram or whatever. I asked myself, what are the qualities in them that I really admire, that I really like? And I boiled it down to to things like this and I wrote it down on my phone. I wrote confidence, style, and aesthetic. I admired people who had wit, humor, or were really fun. Also kindness and good heartedness. So I realized that I was really attracted to people with those qualities and when I wrote those qualities down, I realized that hey, maybe that just means that I have those qualities within me and I should just bring those out even more and play with those even more. So just recognizing that everything is a mirror and not letting that comparison trap make you feel insecure, but rather let that empower you. So let me know how this goes. This is just something that I was playing around with a month ago. It's not something I learned from a book, but I'd love to hear your feedback on what you think because I, I'm not even sure if this makes sense to people, but if it makes sense to you, let me know. I just want you to know that you are enough, you are beautiful, and you don't even need to try. You are perfect. Perfectly imperfect. <laughs> Whatever. Lastly, I want to share a quick tool that can help you boost your self-confidence and self-worth. It's called Shine. So Shine is a text messaging service that's free. Basically, you sign up and then you start getting daily motivational, inspirational text messages that can just boost your day. So I've been signed up for about a month now and just getting those like text messages in the morning really puts my day off to a good start. It's really uplifting and it's fun and light. And so I think it's really helpful to have that external positive message to help kickstart your own positive self-talk. So just continue reminding yourself, I am enough. I am beautiful. Whatever affirmation floats your boat, feel free to join. The link to that is down below in the description bar. And that's it. I hope you liked today's video in our Back to Basics series. If you want to watch the other videos in the series, you can click here or down below. Have a beautiful day. I'll see you next time. Bye.